Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool VHS um, rewind effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the effect looks like right here. This is what we call a VHS um, rewind effect. They don't actually have to have the VHS effect like on the actual clip, but this is just what I wanted to do for the video right here. So as you can see right there, and then the video just basically repeats itself. So it's this middle part, this is the part that actually is rewinding right here. So it's a pretty cool effect. I'm gonna go over kind of how to um, create this effect uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and head over here to the example right here. Actually, I'll go ahead and get rid of these um, two clips right here. And I'll get rid of this one right here. So what you want to do is you want to obviously you, you have your one clip um, right here. Now the first thing you want to do is apply a sharpen effect. I'll actually go ahead and probably just get rid of all these first. So here are all the effects right here. So let's just get rid of all the effects right here. Or you can kind of just delete them individually. Um, so these are basically all the effects that actually this, pro this um, program or that this effect has right here. Um, all of them are built in effects, so don't worry about that. So let's go over to the effects panel right here. We'll go to all and we'll go to sharpen first. Um, that's basically, that's the first effect you have to do right here. So you want to apply the sharpen effect on top um, right here. And then we'll just change the sharpen effect to six right here. So now the sharpen effect is at six um, right there. So that's the sharpen effect. Obviously it just sharpens the image a little bit more. Now the next thing you wanna do is you want to add a color board. So let's go over here and we'll go to color board right there. I mean not color board, we wanna um, add a color wheel. So you wanna to go to color wheel right here and then we're just going to increase the shadows um, just a little bit right here. We're going to decrease um, the highlights right here, kind of give it a much more flatter look. And then we're going to change the color to like an orange color, an orange and tint. You could obviously have the color tint to like blue, but for this video, I'll just have like a um, orange tint to it. Now the next thing you want to do is after you have that, you want to apply a film grain right here so let's go to all right here let's type in film grain um, so there's the film grain right here um, after you have that uh, what you're going to do is you're going to change um, the style to realistic grain um, right there now what next thing you want to do is you want to add a bad TV effect right here so let's apply the bad TV effect right here. And we're gonna change um, the amount to three right here. So that's basically the, all the effects um, that are applied to this clip right here. So go ahead and just play the video right here. And these are all of the effects on um, the video right here. So you have the sharpen which is at six. You have the color wheel right here. Here are the settings for the color wheel. You have this film grain with realistic grain, and you have the bad TV with the changed amount to three. Now, of course, you can go ahead and kind of change or you can adjust the settings um, to your liking. So what we're gonna do next, is I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit right here, and I'll go ahead and basically just create um, two more copies right here So all three of these clips are exactly um, The same clip as the first clip um, right here Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the first clip 
um, right here. We're going to zoom in right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to go, so it's at uh, 821. So let's go one, two frames back. So you're literally just going right here. I'm going to go one, two frames um, right here. And what you're going to do is after you go back two frames, you're going to hold down a shift um, B right here. Basically what it does, I can't remember the exact name of the effect, it's called blade speed. So you went back two frames and you held down or went to blade speed right here. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to go to this part right here. And we're going to slow it down to 50% um, right there. So that's basically all you're doing right here. And you probably also want to have um, preserve pitch clicked off. Um, on the video right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, zoom out a little bit and then we're going to go to the second clip right here. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to go 10 frames ahead. So it's 823 so we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to do right here, or actually never mind, before you do that I'll mark it right here, but you actually want to um, reverse the speed right here, I mean reverse clip. So there we go, the clip is reversed right there. So let's go to the beginning right here. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right here. So you're going to go 10 frames in. And what you're basically just going to do is you're going to command B. You're going to blade the speed right here. And then let's go to the end right here so we're gonna go to the end of the of the middle clip right here and we're gonna go one two or we'll go to the beginning right here so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here we'll go to the end right here we'll press shift B we'll blade the speed and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the middle part and you're gonna go reverse fast um, reverse fast um, times two um, right there let's go ahead and zoom out right here so you want to do reserve fast um, negative two right negative two times and we'll go ahead and just click off reserve um, pitch right there so let's go ahead and kind of just play it so far and see if I kind of did everything right so you have the video right here um, that's just playing right there and let's see if this worked correctly so we're going to wait for it to zoom and there we go. You have that really cool kind of reverse clip right there. And then there you go. You go ahead and just bring it um, back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the last clip right here, the third clip. And we're going to go one, two frames in. So we're going to go one, two frames. I'm going to shift B right there. Now we're going to zoom in right here. And we're going to go to slow 50% right here and get rid of preserve um, pitch right there. So there you go. You basically created or recreated the effect right here. So let's go ahead and play the video right here and kind of see what it looks like um, so far right there. So let's go ahead and see if this all worked out. And there you go. So you can see right here. You have recreated this really cool um, VHS um, rerun, uh, rewind right there. So basically, all you're doing is you're going two frames in, slowing down the last two frames on the first clip, and then the first two frames here, you're slowing it down. You're going 10 frames in, blading the speed, 10 frames in, blading the speed. Make sure this clip is reversed. In the middle clip, you're going to click on reverse fast negative two. But the most important thing is this middle clip has to be um, at a reverse clip or else this effect doesn't work. Now another thing you can do um, is you can create an adjustment layer right here. Apply an adjustment layer on top. Now not a lot of people are going to have this plugin. So what you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to download a VHS overlay off of YouTube or like find a video and screen record it or whatever you need to do. You just need to have some kind of VHS um, overlay right here so it kind of looks like it's rewinding. So let's head over here and I'll go to 
Uh, we've already made a video on this, but I'll put the link down in the description below. Ryan Nago New Wave Bundle um, right here. I apply this VHS effect. Now, yes, this does cost money, but again, like I said before, you can probably find tons of free overlays, but this is just the effect that I did for this video just in case you already have this um, plugin right here. So we'll go to Jitter Variance, Variance, and we'll click on 0 0.2, Jitter Amount, 0 0.2, um, right there. And that's pretty much all I did for um, this effect right here. So let's go ahead and play the video right here and kind of see how it all turned out. And hopefully I did everything correctly and everything um, works out. So let's see if it works. And then as you can see right there, there you go. You have recreated this really, really cool um, VHS effect. So as long as you follow all the steps, step by step, um, if you have any questions about how to do something, go ahead and leave it down in the uh, comments down below because it's definitely a really difficult, um, time-consuming um, effect but hopefully this tutorial helped you and hopefully you can recreate this effect right here and again if you have any questions um, leave them down in the comments below anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace.